Hello friends, you are on the Arkham Play channel and in today's video I want to show you all the easter eggs, secret and interesting details in the game Batman Arkham City. So let's begin. Bats, it's initiation time. The sign says uh, that Arkham City was opened by Mayor Quincy Sharp on November 19, 1000 of some year. This means uh, that uh, the game takes place in an alternative uh, reality where there is high-speed internet and advanced technologies. And this is not in the 21st century, or maybe even in the night scenes. Within the walls of Arkham City, in one of the Riddler's riddle, there is a tortured uh, tiger fighter. It was this fighter who was tortured uh, and killed by Hugo Strange, in the trailer about him uh, for the game Batman Arkham City. The trailer is part of the story. If you haven't seen this trailer, I recommend you watch it. <laughs> Arkham City is essentially an island uh, that is cut off from the rest of the world and divided into territories that belong to each criminal group, Penguin, Two-Face and the Joker. Here people are trying to survive and they have to fight for food. Arkham City provides regular food drops at designated points throughout the day. Food drops will only occur at these times and in these locations. Prisoners are responsible for ensuring food is distributed fairly. They were hungry. Hell, we're all hungry. I haven't eaten for days. We're dying here. We're safer here than out there. I'll get us some food. How? Every time Strange drops some, those bastards get it first. We don't stand a chance. Joker wants me to make sure he's the one with all the food in here. Come on, man. I'm starving here. Just give me a couple of minutes. You ever stop to think what's in those cans? No. Does it matter? Not if you like eating dog food, it don't. What? You're kidding, right? Yeah, I don't believe it. Up to you. You don't see Joker or Harley eating that crap, do you? Yeah, screw it. I'm eating it anyway. A similar situation occurs in the 1999 Batman No Man's Island comic. By the way, prisoners eat uh, macaroni pasta with tomato paste and bacon and ravioli. So, speaking of the island, let's move on to the next Easter egg. Jokers mention the TV series Lost. The Joker is voiced by actor Mark Hamill, who is a fan of the series. The Joker says that an unexpected ending occurs at the very end of the series and everyone ends up in the church. Sometimes you need to brace yourself for disappointment. Now think about it. Imagine your favorite TV show. You've been through it all. The ups, the downs, the crazy coincidences. And then bang! They tell you what it's all about. Would you be happy? Does it make sense? How come it all ended in a church? In the last series, this is exactly what happens. At the beginning of the game, we can see the picture of Cain and, and Abel, the duality of man. This is a double uh, reference to the Two-Face, to his evil and good beginning. The second reference is uh, to the very end of the game, when Batman carries the dead Joker in his arms, just like in the painting. At the beginning of the game, playing as Catwoman, a looping melody plays like a broken record. In this location, that there is a gramophone of which the record is played. The museum has a huge shark called Tiny, which is talked about by two thugs. If the shark is not attacked, uh, Batman will die and prompt will appear, indicating that you need to use shark repellent, namely powerful strikes. In the 1966 movie Batman the Movie, Batman uses a repellent against a shark. Freak, I ain't seen a scarecrow. Maybe, maybe this is all one of his freaking nightmares. Scarecrow. Scarecrow's mask is one of the Riddler's riddles and is located on the bridge. This is the same mask uh, he wore in Batman Arkham Asylum. Nine. 
Also in the game there are hidden uh, radio messages from the scarecrow, which can be cut uh, at different sequences uh, indicated on the screen. If you decipher uh, these messages correctly, according to how it is written on the screen, you will get uh, three different messages. I will return, Batman. You will pay for what you have done to me. And fear will tear apart Gotham City to shreds. It is also worth nothing that during Protocol 10, you can see the bodies of the killed uh, supposedly Scarecrow's henchmen around, but uh, personally I think that this is just a glitch in the Joker's thug model. In one of the rooms with the Riddler's hostage, there's a uh, cylinder uh, with Scarecrow gas. The same cylinders is in Arkham Asylum. The Scarecrow's bot can be opened by guessing the City of Terror password on the cryptographic sequencer. Inside we can see Cage, Wind Insect and Prisoner taken hostage and apparently poison it with fear gas. If you look at him uh, through zoom, he will get scared and die. There is uh, also a note from Mr. Fine, who sent all necessary ingredients to Dr. Jonathan Crane, aka Scarecrow. I think I found something that links all the Riddler rooms. It looks like they were all owned by Mr. Fine. He seems to have acted as some sort of property broker. Mr. Fine is a real estate uh, agent for super villains and is maintained in Gotham City Sirens number one. If you look closely at Rachel Goose's work from a certain angle, you can see Arabic uh, hieroglyphs uh, that means Head of the Demon, which is a Ra's al Ghul nickname. In Rachel Goose's hallucinations, we can see a collapsed railroad with subway cars. I think this is a reference to the 2005 Batman Begins movie. By the way, after we pass the tests in the hallucinations of the Raish al Ghul, there will be a small glitch, and when Batman climbs the stairs, we can use gadgets, jump, run. But if you restart the game from the last checkpoint, then this will no longer be possible. It will be possible to just walk calmly. After Raish al Ghul falls from the Wonder Tower and dies, we immediately see him dead. But if you return there after completing the story, the body of the Raish al Ghul will disappear. Only his sword will remain. Apparently he is immortal after all. During the boss battle with Raish al Ghul, pipes from the Wonder City can be seen in the sky. After the battle with Raish al Ghul, if we return underground the same way we came, we can meet the Killer Croc. You are not welcome here. I'm not here to fight you, Croc. Let me pass. Your scent is... different. I smell death on you. I don't need to fight you, Batman. I just need to wait. And then... I will feed on your corpse. By the way, we won't be able to get out the, the same way, since the path will be closed. Also, here we can find his hideout with a photo of Killer Croc from the game Batman Arkham Asylum, his collar, a couple of skulls and a jar of pasta. During the end credits, we listen to the Joker's answering machine recording for Batman, which he made shortly before his death. And this is the song Only You by the Platters. You have one missed call. Call received three hours ago. Only you can make this world seem right. Only you. The Joker actually considered Batman a close friend with the song he wanted to show off let Batman know that he is his friend and a person dear to him who understood him. And you alone can thrill me like you 
do. In the museum, we can find Joker's gifts tied with green ribbon. The same gifts uh, that were in uh, Arkham Asylum. By the way, he sent gifts to anyone, but not to Penguin. Detective Vision shows that the Joker does not have a skeleton, but for some reason Batman never realized that it was Clayface, all true he could have. During the fight with the Joker we can see an interesting drawing of the Joker in the corner. This is a drawing by artist Carlos Dianda, who draws comics for DC. In one of the riddles of the Riddler at the steel mill we can find a box of Joker's gadgets. This is a gun, a flower with acid, a laughing fish and hypnoglasses. All of these gadgets are reference to the DLC in Arkham Asylum, the Joker game. And the Joker's Lothan Fish is a reference to Detective Comics number 475 and 476. Lothan Fish are also mentioned in Batman the Animated Series. You left me to die. 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 The phrase that stuck you left me to die was cut from a video recording of the Joker's conversation with Batman in the church. That's right. You left me to die. By the way, if you don't run away from the church tower, the Joker will uh, persuade Batman to escape. The only question is, whose body will it be? I know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> now get out of there now, or you'll ruin everything! The origins of the Joker uh, harkens back to the Killing Joke comics. Genie was dead. It didn't seem real. I can remember the day I first met her, her infectious smile as I told her bad joke after bad joke. Ah, yes, the box. <laughs> so there I was, tearing open this box, expecting the worst. And all it had in it was a crazy red dome and a cloak. <laughs> Where did the three jokers come from? Two jokers? How do we know they had a third? All different except for one detail, Batman. What can I say? I like to keep things interesting. A wise man once told me that if you have to have an origin story, you're better off making it multiple choice. Different versions, different jokers. At the beginning of the game, Hush can be seen in the church. He lies on the couch and holds a box with human's organs. After talking with the doctor, the radio will talk about uh, Bruce Wayne and Hush will begin to get angry when his name is maintained. Hush's hideout contains uh, his ring, which he wears in the comics. By the way, exactly the same ring is in the GCPD morgue. At the very beginning of the game we can see a black mask trying to fight off the tiger fighters with a chair. Get me straight! Put the chair down! Now. Him again. <laughs> then we find out in one of the riddles of the Riddler, then the Black Mask managed to escape from Arkham City. Somehow he was able to make a hole in the wall. His mask can also be in the museum, which is worn on a skeleton. This is the same mask uh, that is in Dr. Young's office in the game Arkham Asylum. At the beginning of the game, we can meet Deadshot without his costume and mask. You're on my list. And here is the very list he was talking about. Out a specific list of threats to Strange's position. Let's see. Deadshot only has three targets left. Jack Ryder, Bruce Wayne, and Batman. They say Deadshot has a lightsaber in his hiding place, but I think uh, that just a scope from a sniper rifle. Deadshot's shell says Deadshot. 
There's the shell casing. Also, on the roof uh, of the one of the houses at the beginning of the game, Azrael stands and watches watch everything that happens. He looks and just disappeared. Azrael can catch Batarangs. Inside and outside the church, the mosaics uh, depict Azrael slaying the dragon. At the beginning of the game, you can play a little as Bruce Wayne. If in this place you jump between invisible walls at a certain angle, then the game will throw Bruce up. Then you need to carry out an attack while in the air. And by jumping again, you can grab into the nearest ledge, go downstairs. Nearby thugs will not notice you, will not react to you in any way. You can collect some Riddler's trophies. Go to the crime alley, but Hugo Strange's recording cannot be listened to. After going a little further, you can fight with Sox. Bruce has no animation of him entering the buildings. So he just opens the door and stands still. In the cutscene, Bruce Wayne will be in the Batman costume. However, enemies will still recognize Batman, albeit uh, without the suit. Batman! Get out of your life! Our friend Batman has arrived! You can also hide from Harvey Dance shot. By the way, the game will not let you go further than the card house, since this requires uh, detective vision and Bruce Wayne without the Batman suit simply does not have it. Do I look scared, Harvey? At the beginning of the game, Gordon can be heard worrying that Bruce Wayne had ended up in Arkham City. All units, we have confirmation that Bruce Wayne has been arrested by Tiger Guards and taken into Arkham City. This is Gordon. To try and stop this situation turning into a damn legal nightmare. I want all GCPD officers to stop taking prisoners to Arkham City. Take him to the GCPD. Take him to the zoo for all I care. Just don't let that maniac Strange get his hands on them. Wayne's lawyers are going to have a field day with this, and I don't want my budgets being cut to pay for some rich guy's next vacation. Understand? Until the end of the game, there will be no more Gordon. You can also listen to Wikivale's radio show about Bruce. Tonight we brought you dramatic video of Bruce Wayne being arrested and dragged into Arkham City. On the police wave, you can hear about a ventriloquist uh, who took hostages. Dispatch. Wesker has taken a hostage and is proceeding to shoot at other officers. In all the game of the Arkham universe, we will never meet him. But his uh, cheerful puppet dances funny in the museum. This character was first mentioned in Detective Comics number 583. Mr. Freeze eyes trail leads straight to the place with his wife. This trail uh, appears after Batman shows Freeze the location of his wife Nora. I told you I would find her. Thank you, Batman. I am sorry I doubted you. Just fix her and quit this life. You are better than this. In his origin story, Mr. Freeze mentored Ferris Boyle. This character uh, first appears in the 1992 series. By the time I got to the lab, Ferris Boyle, the CEO, was there waiting. At the steel mill there is a poster of Boyle Cryogenics Goth Carp uh, Science Division, the corporation where Mr. Freeze worked. This corporation is also maintained in the Batman series. Did you see Kent? What about your employer, Goth Corp? An interesting detail, well, Batman bursts into the place with this poster, you can see how one thug falls from his chair in fear. Funny detail. The code. Now. It's Sarah. He said to tell you the code is Sarah. The code Sarah that James Gordon gave to the cops refers back to the Batman number 405, which maintains that Gordon's first wife was named Sarah. By the way, the Joker killed her. One of the undercover cops walks around the museum, presses the button and looks at the penguin exhibits. And even comments. Oh, that's just great. They've got freaking rocket launchers. Who are these people? That looks like a military-grade thermal imaging kit. Apparently, Richter Zass was one of the exhibits, uh, but he was lucky escape from the penguin. A deeply disturbed killer. A man responsible for the murder and subsequent mutilation of over 100 men, women and children. You're looking at Zass. The penguin dreams of catching Batman and putting him away as an exhibit. By the way, the photographs that hang inside the container uh, are the same as those in the game Arkham Asylum in the Scarecrow's hiding place. 
By the way, uh, the penguin is clearly follows the Joker. He has a detailed plan of the steel mill with photographs. He also instructed his thugs to monitor and report on the Joker. Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Anyway, he kept talking to me for two whole days. What's he doing now? Who's he with? You know, stupid stuff. And all the time I was thinking, just shut the hell up, bird boy. I'm gonna turn this gun around and put a bullet in you too. Be that as it may, in the end, the penguin himself fell into his own trap and became an exhibit in his own museum. By the way, when he sits in this cage, both his hands are bandaged. Although initially only one was bandaged. So, about the penguin, his duck can be found in the steel mill, and her children can also be seen during a fight with the Joker. This refers us to the 1992 Batman Returns movie, where the penguins swarm on just such a duck. At the beginning of the game you can knock out the penguins yourself, you can do it with the hands of thugs, or you can not hit him at all and then he will start threatening. I knew you were too chicken to face me, Wayne! Go on, run! Climb like a bloody monkey! It won't do you any good. I own Arkham City! You hear me? I own this town! You can't run. You can't hide. I'll have a thousand people out looking for you, and when they find you, you're going in my collection. Understand? By the way, the Penguin could perfectly see how Bruce Wayne put on the Batman suit if he looked up. Everything is perfectly visible. However, after Batman puts on his suit, the Penguin will already leave, and instead of him there's will be thugs. The Penguin is excellent at dodging electrical charges, but Salomon Grundy could use a little red charge. Ace Chemical was first uh, mentored in Detective Comics number 168. The Baudelaire flower shop, named after the French writer Charles Baudelaire, uh, reference to the 2004 series The Batman. The poster from the film Terror, in which Basil Carlo aka Clayface Terry refers us to the comic book Joker's Asylum 2. It is there that uh, this film is mentored for the first time. Stacked Deck refers us to the animated series about Batman in 1992, to the Almost Got Him episode. It was in this establishment uh, that supervillains played cards. The poster at the top of the Wonder Tower is a single copy, clearly referring us uh, to intro from the TV series uh, 92. Sal Maroni's restaurant, uh, which was owned by Salvatore Maroni, maintained in the comic strip Batman the Long Halloween, closed on February 4th in the comic, on this day, holiday track uh, this restaurant. By the way, Maroni is the creator of the Two-Face. He was the one who threw a seat in Dent's face in the courtroom. I was naive. I thought I could make a difference. Falcone was going to go down for what he had done. Also, Two-Face's story about his origins refers to the comic book Long Halloween. You probably had headaches. Your wife found you unpredictable. Scary sometimes. Give us it! Don't get too excited. There's no way I'm letting you free. Not after that Falcone mess. How funny that you should mention that illustrious family. And so close to your birthday. Tell me, are you expecting anything specific from your father this year? The calendar man responded to Selina in this way uh, precisely because uh, in the comic book Long Halloween there is a hint that Falcone is the father of the Catwoman. Your father. Did you ever meet him? Never knew the son of a bitch. The conversation turned uh, to the calendar man. In this comic he is uh, also in a glass chamber and there are calendar shit lying on the floor. He talks about his crimes committed on different holidays. You can watch a separate video about the calendar and the dates with his easter eggs on my channel in the tip. And this is a reference to comic number 483, the first appearance of Maxi Zeus. The Red Catcher in the first appearance in Detective Comics 585. The Red Catcher is indirectly maintained in the thug's conversation. Minus his legs, of course. Over a pit of rats. He did good. Lasted days. Cobblepot was pissed, so we fed him to his pet. The Monarch Theater took its name from the 1989 Batman film, before that it was just a theater. Crime Alley behind the Monarch Theater is the place where Bruce's parents died, 
And you can listen to a recording of Hugo Strange message. How does it feel, Wayne? To stand on the very stones that ran with your parents' blood. Do you feel sad? Full of rage? Or does that outfit help bury your feelings? Hiding your true self? Oh, you are a truly extraordinary specimen. I look forward to breaking you. Mercy Island is maintained in Batman Shadow of the Bat 38. By the way, this is a mansion from which they turned it into asylum. Monarch playing card is maintained in Detective Comics 168 and the Kill It Joke. In the flooded part of town there is a sign for Leslie Tompkins. Dr. Leslie Tompkins, who was Bruce Wayne's influence and Support is this maintained in Detective Comics 457. She is very dear to him. Jezebel Center takes us back to Batman 656 to the character Jezebel Jet. Iceberg Lounge. This place was first maintained in Detective Comics 683. And the inscription W White refers us to Warren White. We can see exactly the same inscription only backlit in Hallucination from Rachel Gould. Great White Shark. He also rented the building as did Victor Zass. Gentleman's hats and accessories refers us to the Gentleman Ghost, the first mention of which is in Flash comic number 88 of the year 47. This character also appeared uh, periodically in cartoons. In the city you can see a large round head of a cat. The exact same head was in the 1992 Batman movie, Batman Returns. In Wonder City there is a sign uh, with the names of the game developers. The name Oliver can be found on a poster in the Fluted City. The Terror Starring poster also contains the name of people who took a huge part in the development of the game. In GCPD you can see a list of game developers who are presented here as a dangerous criminals. The thug maintains technical director Ben White in conversation. No one's seen Wyatt since he would look up himself and down the sewers. Fuck that for sure. And Daniel Bailey is a senior producer. Yeah, don't let him start tossing that coin. If it comes up bad, you could be dead before you know it. Just like Bailey. Yeah, just like Bailey. Two Face put him on a big ass industrial saw and cut him clean in half. After Batman knocks knock out uh, the snipers who are arming at Wiki Vale, and she mentions uh, Dini Towers. Paul Dini is a comic book creator. Vampire has seized from Dini Towers. Paul's wife, Misty Lee, voiced uh, Fiona Wilson. I'm in Arkham City? What the hell am I doing here? Her voice also sounds at the top of the Wonder Tower. Arriving at the observation deck. And in the museum. Welcome to the Cyrus Pinkney Natural Cyrus Pinkney Institute and a cafeteria in the city, which refers to Batman Legends of the Dark 27, where Cyrus Pinkney is first mentioned. Finnegan's Bar is mentioned in Gotham Central 24, and it's just a bar. Poster Cadmus Labs in the reverse of Harley Quinn's DLC references Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, Wall 1, 133. Bar Black Canary references the character Black Canary. Poster Visit Santa Prisca refers to the comic book The Question Number 10. In the prison of Santa Prisca there was a guy who became Bane. Flying Grayson uh, refers us to Dick Grayson. He is the first Robin, he is Nightwing. In Arkham City we can see graffiti uh, depicting Bane. In the museum you can find a newspaper with concept art of a strange and a newspaper from Arkham Asylum with the headline Criminal Couple Gunned Down. Some of the thugs conversation are quite funny. Do you think the rumors are true? What? That Harley used to be a dude? No way. I heard they got married. She wouldn't let a piece of ass like Harley get away. Is this what Batman's coming for? Who knows? If it is, he ain't getting it. <laughs> 
Maybe one of us should put the suit on. What? Yeah, think about it. Freeze, Batman. I am a man in a refrigerator. Do you want ice with that? <laughs> it's a plan, right? Yeah, stupid one. Look at it, it's massive. How do you get in it? Does it come with instructions? How hard can it be? We're both smart. An awkward silence. New Game Plus uh, features a guy desperately trying to warn his friend that Batman is behind them. I heard Crazy Quilt was seen down near the court. Seriously? That's what they're saying. There's no way some cheap a-hole villain like Quilt took down Dent. Batman did it. I heard some of his crew talking about it earlier. It sounded insane. In one of the conversations of the inmates, the character uh, Crazy Quilt is mentioned uh, who first appears in the comic book Boy Commander number 15. Do you remember this moment from Batman Arkham Asylum? Razor's just finishing his off now. Good. Let's test him out. No! No, I'm still up! We can hear about the fate of this poor fellow from the conversation of the prisoners. I heard he dropped Razor in a pool filled with boiling water and razor blades. He thought it was funny. To be fair, that does sound pretty funny. Razor should never have left Joker's gang. Penguin was always going to try to get information out of him. You can also talk to political prisoners during the game. Where the hell did you come from? Oh god, it's you. Don't hurt me. Please. You've got 30 seconds. Talk. What are you doing up here? Please, I just came looking for food. Up here? It wasn't easy. And Harley Quinn's chatter about how she confused the real Joker with the clay face one is Hillary's. About Harley Quinn, Harley's positive pregnancy test can be found at the steel mill, hinting that Miss Quinn is pregnant. After completing story on New Game Plus, during the ad credits, she sings a song to her baby. In Batman Beyond Returns of the Joker, Harley Quinn sings the same tune. However, in the Harley Quinn's uh, Revenge DLC we may see negative pregnancy tests, and in the grip lies a painted ventriloquist puppet. This suggests that either Harley had a miscarriage due to nervousness after the death of the Joker, or she was not pregnant at all. Harley's hyenas, the head of one hyena and a stuffed specimen of two other hyenas, can be found in the Penguin's Museum. This references Miss Quinn's favorite pets. At the beginning of the game, the Harley Quinn walkie-talkie figures in the steel mill will say something similar. Hello? Is this thing on? Listen, if anyone asks about Mr. J, tell him he's fine. No, don't tell him anything. Well, tell them that you're not gonna talk about it. And then shoot him in the face, okay? And when Harley Quinn has her mouth taped shut, they'll say something like this. I'm sorry, Bozo. I can't come to the phone right now. I'm probably off doing something top secret for Mr. J, so I can't tell you what it is. And after the Joker's death, she will just cry. <laughs> In the DLC, their same figures became noticeably shabby. They cannot be broken, and they will say something like this. After several presses, uh, it will also cry. <laughs> Big heads mode. Just follow the instructions that are written on the screen and you will be able to make big heads, big hands and big foots for all the characters in the game. This greatly changed the perception of the game itself and the game goes into some kind of humorous direction. Fights look funny. Out, 
Leave him with me, Batman. It's payback time. Really? How? And Holly, what would you do if I sent my men after her? Touch her, and you're dead. Reference uh, to the film Catwoman 2004, starring Holly Berry. Alternative ending with Catwoman, playing as Catwoman when can choose to leave Batman and escape from Arkham City. Then the credits uh, will start, and the Oracle will talk about how the Joker won. Screw him. By the way, the game will take us back and we won't be able to go out the door a second time. Come on, Selina. You've got to save Batman, no matter what. Also, this is worth mentioning that after we went outside, we can go back through this door. Since when did you grow a conscience? While playing as Catwoman, you can talk to different characters. So, is now a good time to talk to you about an idea I had to steal the Pharaoh's diamond from the Egyptian museum? It's really hot there, and, well, all this latex really makes a girl sweat. From a conversation with Victor Fries, it can be assumed that this is a reference to the 1997 film Batman and Robin, in which uh, Mr. Fries robbed a museum and took diamonds for himself. Everything freezes. After completing the game, you can return to Poison Ivy and chat with her. Where have you been? Where is my... You haven't got it, have you? Yeah, about that. Look, Red, it wasn't my fault. Strange didn't... I'll kill him. Be my guest. I'll kill all of you. Okay, then. I think I'll be going now. Yes, go! Join the rest of the meat. I'll destroy them all. First Strange, then Gotham. No one will be safe. The men are apparently mad about her. I love you, Ivy. I can't imagine life without you, Ivy. The Catwoman will not want to come to Victor's ass. Ugh. No way am I going in there. Of all the people in Arkham City, Mr. Zaz gives me the creeps. She won't be allowed into the Iceberg Lounge. I'm lost, boys. Can anyone help a girl? You can chat with the Penguin, uh, who is affected by her threats. What the hell are you supposed to be? Piss off! Really? Okay, if you insist. Oh, I forgot to say, speak to me like that again, Penguin, and I'll show you just what it feels like for a poor little bird to be torn apart by a cat. Please, don't hurt me! I didn't mean it! That's much nicer. See? You can be nice, Oswald. See you around. The Catwoman is also unable to move the bars. How does he manage to pull those things off, anyway? Look at yourself, Selina. Don't even think of doing that. Catwoman won't be allowed into church, either. Let me in! Sorry, lady. Church is closed. Well, that's just plain rude. You can talk to the Mad Hatter. Are you Alice? Sorry, Jervis. It's me, Catwoman. Oh, Alice. I need my Alice. Wow. Strange really did a number on you, didn't he? Listen, I'm going to go and find Alice, okay? I hear she's with the Cheshire Cat. Somewhere. If the wall with the question is not destroyed, then nothing will happen. However, if the wall is destroyed, that Catwoman will refuse to enter that door. Do you ever learn, Eddie? I'm not interested in your silly little games. 
You can also chat with Bane. Get me out of here. It's that kind of attitude that gets you in these kind of situations. If you don't open this door, I'll kill you too. Will you really? <laughs> See you later, Bane. Hopefully next time you'll know how to talk to a lady. By the way, if you go to Bane's hideout before Batman complete this mission, then Bane simply won't be there. If we don't destroy a single container before meeting with Bane, then the conversation will be like this. Six each? Fine. Today isn't a good day to lie to me, Bane. Remember that. If we destroy several, Batman will report this to Bane. Five. I found one earlier and destroyed it. Before we take off the mission with Bane, we won't be able to destroy all the containers. In place of the latter, this will be missing, and the thugs will argue about where it's gone. If you complete this mission before Protocol 10, a crowd of Tiger Fighters will come running. We must not allow these puppets to take the Titan! If you complete it after Protocol 10, the Joker thugs will attack. We must not allow these puppets to take the Titan! If you run to Bane during Protocol 10, he won't be there. If during Protocol 10 we go down into the sewer, we will find that thugs have taken a refuge there and will not let Batman in. Well, look who it is. What's wrong, Batman? He has no casualty. Shame. Yeah, no way you coming in here. Just turn back and find yourself somewhere else to hide. You're used to hiding in the dark, ain't you? I'm showing multiple hits so in turn Sector the hell 2. Around. You ain't coming in here. It will be same in the subway. Sorry, station's closed. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you go back up top and let one of Strange's bombs blow the crap out? Target is hit. You're not welcome down here. Hell, you're not welcome anywhere. Everything is fine with political prisoners. They are safe and sound waiting under a bridge for this hell to end. Some of the few thugs who managed to survive live on the ground. They are scared to death. Please! I didn't do nothing! If during Protocol 10 you go to the museum, then the Two-Face will not be there yet. Instead of him, there will be bald guy without a mask. However, according to the plot, at this time, the Two-Face should already be in the museum. Everywhere underfoot and on the walls all over Arkham City there is a left, let's, uh, let's say about quarantine, and that's fire will be opened on criminal. Here is a protocol 10. Batman could just look at uh, his feet and not guess what is it. Protocol 10? Is it some kind of hemorrhoid cream? I doubt it. During Protocol 10 uh, there will be a bunch of mechanical guards lying around Wonder City. However, after Protocol 10 this pile will be removed by someone. I think these mechanical guards were taken by Harley Quinn and somehow reprogrammed and repainted them. After all, it is with the Z we will fight in the DLC. A 3D model of Hugo Strange holds in his hand visit a list of uh, invited guests and the guest of honor Batman, the same list as in the game Arkham Asylum. Here it is, Batman! Hey, looks like you're the guest of honor! At the very top of the Wonder Tower there are tables from the Iceberg Lounge. Hugo Strange monitors show all the buildings in Arkham City. However, uh, they look completely different from what they really are. By the way, if you climb to the top of the Wonder Tower, sit on this pillar and throw ice grenades for quite a long time, Batman will rise higher and higher and thus uh, we can leave Arkham City, fly to the Asylum Island, fly to Gotham, and uh, reconnoitre the situation. The buildings will be empty inside, through which you can fly. See Arkham Island in miniature, you can go back to Arkham City, however you will no longer be able to stand on the ground, but will simply fall down. Arkham Asylum. In the church there is a photo of Aaron Cash with his wife, youngest and eldest child. Almost the same photo was in Arkham Asylum, but uh, with only one child. And GCPD has a magazine with the Joker on the corner, and also Prometheus uh, medical record. In Arkham City we can see these heads from the Harley Quinn's mannequin, exactly the same as in Asylum, exactly the same magazine, and exactly the same medical record, Harley Quinzel's office. And even a newspaper from the museum with a gunned down couple. Inscription dead and in harsh layer, the same as on the body of Frank Bowles. In the harsh layer there's a scarecrow cylinders by without the red faces. 
At the entrance to Arkham City there is a CCTV camera from Arkham Asylum and another one at Steel Mill. In the subway we can see a green face, exactly the same as in the Arkham Asylum. An already undressed mannequin from Clayface's cell. Do you remember the lunatics who constantly screamed and attacked us in the first game? These scary ones. Do you know what happens to them? They hang dead at the entrance to the Wonder City. And the jar with the head of one of them stands in the last room with the hostage of the Riddler. I think this is the same jar from Arkham Asylum. The church has a bell with an engraving date, April 1922. The exact same engraving was on the bell in the game Arkham Asylum. These penguins in the museum refer to the German board game Plitch Plutch Penguin. The game mentions cities from the DC universe, Bloodhaven, Metropolis, Keystown. When I get out of here, if I get out of here, I'm heading straight out of Gotham stinking city. Hell, I'll even give Bloodhaven a shot. Anywhere but here. There's gotta be better places than Gotham. Frisco, Vegas, hell, give me Bloodhaven any day. If I live through this, I'm out of Gotham for good. If I get out of this place in one piece, I'm heading for Bloodhaven. Hey, there's all kinds of crap going on down there. I had a friend help me bounce the signal through every relay from here to Bloodhaven. You'll never find me. After that night we spent in Metropolis, you could have just called. By the end of the month, new camps in Keystone and Metropolis will open, each modeled after Arkham City. After the battle with Mr. Freeze, you can immediately take out the cryptographic sequencer and listen to Vicky Vale's radio program. After her helicopter is shut down, the broadcast will stop and music will start playing. Is he really? Hello, Gotham, it's me. I'm afraid Miss Vale will soon be leaving the airwaves. We apologize for this interruption. We've been hit. We're going down. Mayday! Mayday! If you get close to Miss Vale before Batman knocks out the snipers, she will tell us this. No offense, Batman, but in case you hadn't noticed, there are people shooting at us. Batman saves Vicky Vale with the help of the line launcher and not with the help of Batclaw. This is a reference to the 1989 Batman movie, where Batman saved Vicky using the line launcher. After rescuing Miss Vale, the Mad Hatter appears. This is a reference to Batman 48, where Vicky helped with the Mad Hatter investigation. After Miss Whale interviews Quincy Sharp, Batman can listen to their recording. The entry will mention the DLC characters The Huntress and The Creeper. They said they didn't want to place their safety, their children's safety, in the hands of vigilantes like Batman, Nightwing, and uh, there's at least one more. The Huntress? The Creeper? The first mention of the Huntress character was in All-Star Comics issue 68. The Creeper, aka Jack Ryder, was first mentioned in Showcase 73. So, in this universe, Jack Ryder is a Creeper. Hmm. It was a very powerful recovery ability. Even the glasses recover it. Abramovich Brothers is a poster in Russian language. Molot vs. Serp. Circus is written in Russian. All true in Russian the word circus will be sound like цирк. The word circus does not exist in Russian. In Russian there is one brother, Abramovich, and the two is Abramovichi. And the story of the S question of the Abramovichi brothers is very similar to the story of the purchase of an amusement park from the Killing Joke comic book. On his stomach Mr. Hammer has a tattoo in Russian Tsar Joker, the Joker Tsar. The cost of arms of the USSR, a hammer and sickle with domes and stars, in the tradition of authoritative prisoners of Russia. Together, we will rule Arkham City. In Arkham City, we can find graves in German. Lucius Fox and mention it before we can get grapnel boost. But Mr. Fox told you it's not yet ready for field deployment. When the Batwings releases the grapnel boost, only to the sound of the wing, but itself is not visible and the grapnel boost is already in place before we hear this sound. I've done enough training. I'm ready. If you look at this true detective vision, it will be empty inside. However, if you look at the container with the syringe from the Mad Hatter, you will see a syringe inside. After the battle with the Mad Hatter in place of the container with the syringe, there will be a tea party. By the way, when playing as a Catwoman, there is no container and no tea party of the roof, which suggests that this is just a hallucination of Batman. 
Inside the vault of confiscated goods, we can see the League of Assassins dagger with the head of the demon on it, as well as Victor Zas's knife, the same knife that sticks out of the floor after Batman defeats him. It just stands on the floor and sticks its blade up. Miss Queen's uh, bat will also be in the vault. Victor Zass. When he calls on the phone, at least once the phone call will be false. You don't have to track uh, Victor Zass's location at the while talking to him. And then there will be two secret dialogues. Zass. You made it! Are you enjoying my game? Let your hostages go. Take me in their place. Stop being so impatient. I'll have you too eventually. I recall telling you that I have a special place reserved for your mark a very special place i'd show you but you'd have to find me first and that is very very unlikely goodbye you and i aren't so different batman i beg to differ of course you do but think it through we both punish the guilty you on some revenge driven crusade and me on a sacred mission from a higher power. Life is sacred, Zaz. You'll never understand that. It is you who doesn't understand. The beauty of death. The quiet voyage into the unknown. The escape from the misery of the ordinary. But you will. At the end of the second conversation, Zaz himself will allow Batman to discover himself. So you don't have to stress. If you try to go some places ahead of time, Batman simply won't to go there, especially on New Game Plus. In GCPT he will not want to enter through the main entrance, and the Black Passage will be covered with ice. There's no time to do that now. This can wait. I don't have time for this. There's no time to do that now. There's no time to do that now. If you knock on the door of the inmates, you will have a conversation like this. Yeah, what are you? Oh, God. There's nothing to see in here. You should go away. The Iceberg Lounge will have the same thing. Yeah, what are you? Oh, God. There's nothing to see in here. You should go away. Or maybe even that. The entrance to the sewer will be barricaded. The entrance to the subway is also closed. We won't be able to get to church ahead of time either. There will be two trucks with the sink kill the bat. At the beginning of the game, when the church is still intact, there is nothing of the roof. However, later a question mark will appear of the roof of the church. We can activate. I'm waiting for you at the church, Dark Knight. Waiting to prove that I am better than you. Come and see me, if you dare. If we try to unlock the Riddler's panel before we activate his mission, the Riddler will not allow us to do so. You're getting ahead of yourself, Batman. Those contraptions are of little use to you. For now. Oh, Dark Knight, you are being impatient. I will reveal the purpose of those when I am good and ready. Are you really so stupid that you cannot even understand a simple instruction, Batman? <laughs> Don't answer that. The childlike gibberish you are bound to spell will just be embarrassing. <laughs> Let me explain one last time. Ignore those control boxes for now. They are not activated yet, as in they do not work. They will, but only when I am ready. Was that clear enough? Good. You also cannot take the trophy intended for Catwoman. What do you call a bat that thinks he can take something for a hat? However, Catwoman has no problem taking Batman's trophies. If in the location of Amusement Mile we fly straight to this place, we can go through the wall, go through the door, and we will find ourselves in a place to defect. Or the secret room of the Riddler, where is the model of the Riddler will stand. The Riddler's skeleton will not be visible through detective vision. You can't hit him. However, he blinks, breathes and moves. I think this is uh, the same model that appears on the projector in the rooms with the Riddler's hostages. And by the way, about the hostages of the Riddler. Cash immediately mentions Dr. Stacy Baker. Will do. Hope you find the doc. Her name's Stacy Baker. She's one of the good ones. The same doctor who was almost killed at the steel mill. Fire! Help me! Help me! 
Home Batman then saved, and she, in gratitude for this, almost nailed Batman with a metal pipe and was scared to death herself. <laughs> oh god, it's you! I'm sorry! So, friend, there's where are all Easter eggs, secret and interesting details in the Batman Arkham City game, which I collected especially for you. Bye, everyone.